Top 5 Female Japanese Humanoid Robots 2022 The first country in the world which is going to adopt human robots is not just going to be Japan, but actually is Japan. Japan is the oldest country in the world and they really understand that they need robots now. In fact, now they are the best at doing the robot thing and in this video we went to Japan and visited mysterious warehouses leading Japan to become a leader in robo development. We selected the 5 robots which are the best at doing their job. Hello and welcome to the channel and in today's video, let's see the top 5 female Japanese humanoid robots which can replace you. Do even these top 5 robots have the capability of replacing us in our jobs? Let's start the video and find out what these 5 robots can do. As the world progresses further and further in terms of technology, so many things that we only used to see on TV are coming alive. One of these things was robots, a man-made concept that is now in full motion in Japan. The progress in building humanoid robots has sped up a lot. Stick with us to find out about the top female humanoid robots in Japan. The rise in AI technology and humanoid robots is certainly undeniable and Japan seems to be the only one that dominates this field. The first humanoid robot we have on our list is Actroid. Actroid is a humanoid robot with very human-like features. It was developed at Osaka University and manufactured by Kokoro Company Limited. This humanoid robot was revealed back in 2003 at the International Robot Exhibition held in Tokyo. Ever since 2003, a lot of different versions of Actroid have been developed and unveiled. Actroid's appearance is made to look like an average young woman of Japanese descent. The Actroid robot can mimic human-like functions like speaking or breathing. The other models of Actroid, called Repli models, are interactive robots that can talk to humans. The internal sensors in the Actroid robot allows it to move naturally. It's allowed by the movement in the upper body was allowed by 42 articulation points in the upper body. The later models have 47 points of articulation. This humanoid can mimic motions of a human body like head and eye movements, changing positions and the rise and fall of the chest to make it seem like they're breathing. It can be taught human movements by making it face a person wearing the reflective dots on their body. This way the humanoid can track the dots and move accordingly and also learn a specific movement. The skin of Actroid is made of silicon. It can't move that much and it either remains seated or in a standing position with support from the back. There is also speech recognition software in the robot. It can speak on a rudimentary level with humans. The microphones that are inside the robot record the voices of humans. Then the background noise is removed. The speech recognition software converts audio into sequences, which are then processed by Actroid's AI. The response is then given through the speakers external to the unit. The Actroid robot was developed to serve as a receptionist. The original model of the Actroid was called Repli Q1, which had a sister model called Repli R1. Repli R1 looks like a 5-year-old Japanese girl. Another humanoid on our list is Nadine. Nadine is another exceptional gynoid humanoid social robot. Nadine was made to look like Professor Nadia and Magnana Thalman. Nadine is the successor of Ava, a humanoid robot manufactured by Hansen Robotics in 2008. It is a socially intelligent robot with natural looking skin and realistic hair and hands. It can greet people, maintain eye contact and talk to people. Nadine can remember all the conversations it has with people and can also speak in several languages. It can make gestures and can make facial expressions depending on the interaction. The robot was developed with personality and 27 degrees of facial expressions and upper body movements. It can also remember the people it has conversations with. Nadine is also linked with various databases like Wikipedia and weather channels. This humanoid is made to work as a receptionist as it can assist people by reading to them, showing them pictures, send emails or put on Skype sessions. It can also work as a personal coach. The exhibition Human Plus The Future of Our Species was held in Singapore at the Art Science Museum. There, Nadine interacted with more than 100,000 people. Nadine works as a customer service agent in Singapore at AIA Insurance Company. Nadine is the first gynoid humanoid to work as a customer service agent. The third robot on our list might be the creepiest robot to exist. Japan's National Science Museum had exhibited its fair share of eerily human robots. Alta is Japan's creepiest robot as of yet. Alta's face resembles Professor Ishiguro's geminoids. Alt has a neural network inside of it that lets it move on its own. This neural network is operated by 42 pneumatic actuators and a central pattern generator or CPG. 
by detecting humidity, proximity and temperature through its sensors, allows this robot to make its own movements. The creepy part of this robot is because of its movements. It looks very much human-like. This project was done by not programming the robot to move. Instead, it allows the robot to make its own movements, which look very creepy and chaotic. The neural network embedded in Alter has various movement modes. It copies the movements of humans through detecting humidity, temperature, noise, etc. For instance, if the robot senses a lot of people close by, its torso shudders and reacts to the environment. This robot can also sing in a very haunting and creepy way. The robot vocals are sine waves that come from the machine. Kohei Ogawa of Osaka University said, This time, Alter doesn't look like a human. It doesn't really move like a human. However, it certainly has a presence. There's something very creepy about Alter, which neither feels human nor robotic, Ogawa said. Until now, making androids talk or interact for 10 minutes was an incredible amount of hard work. Simply to program something to react for that long, Alter, moving for itself, can do so easily. Because a machine acts like a human, it looks creepy and scary. But if a robot looks so much like a human, isn't that more scary? The Asuna humanoid robot is that example of a robot, which can easily be mistaken for a human among humans. In 2015, the Winter Wonder Festival was held in Japan, at the Makuhari Messe Convention Center in Chiba City. Asuna was mistaken as an idol from AKB48, but upon closer inspection, people were surprised to see that Asuna was a humanoid and not a living, breathing girl. Asuna is made to look like a 15-year-old Japanese girl who is 155 centimeters tall and weighs 43 kilograms. According to researchers, humans react with disgust when they look at robots or dolls trying to appear human. Seeing how Asuna looks so lifelike, people thought of her as cute rather than creepy. The facial features of Asuna look so lifelike, her eye movements and mouth movements look very natural. Anyone can mistake her as a human. Her human-like skin feels extremely soft like humans. We've seen many films and series in which there are robots that are obviously not real. How would it feel to see an actual robot act in a movie? That's right folks, the last humanoid on our list is going to be a star in a sci-fi movie. Erika is a humanoid robot who is going to star in a Japanese movie called B. The movie began filming in 2019. Erika was developed by Kohei Ogawa and Hiroshi Ishiguro. They have developed Erika in a way that she can not only act, but can also learn methods of acting. The scriptwriter of the movie, B, Sam Kose, says, In other methods of acting, actors involve their own life experiences in the role, but Erika has no life experiences. She was created from scratch to play the role. We had to simulate her minions and emotions through one-on-one -on -one sessions, such as controlling the speed of her movements, talking through her feelings, and coaching character development and body language. The creators of the film, along with Hiroshi Ishiguro and Kohei Ogawa, taught Erika to mimic human emotions through extensive method acting. Since acting is tough, even for humans to portray, their emotions naturally, Erika comes fully equipped with skills required to be an actress. Erika has no memories from her life or past experiences to portray her emotions by. The creators had to teach her how to develop her character by adjusting her emotions and body language in different ways to make it look like method acting. Right now, Japan is advancing at a dangerous speed in terms of AI technology. The robots are becoming more and more human-like, so that they can be mistaken as humans easily in crowds of Japan. How do you see the first task is going to be? Which of these robots will be doing in Japan? Leave your guess in the comments section as your guess is going to be of great accuracy, because of the fact that you did watch the video till the end. And why not make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, and all in all, thanks for watching till the end.